Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Weather's relatively quiet for the rest of today, but we are looking at an unsettled stretch of weather for the end of the work week. Let's take a look at what's happening at the moment. Live Doppler radar, not a whole bunch going on locally. There could be a couple of sprinkles coming on by a little bit later in the afternoon. You see this little cluster of green back across Connecticut that may slide into southern Rhode Island later in the afternoon. Threat tracker for the rest of today and Wednesday. Low chance for severe weather. Here's what we're looking at for the end of the week. Uh, the Thursday may start off with a wintry mix turning to rain could be some travel impacts in the morning then we could be looking at some downpours at night yeah lots to talk about here's a look at Providence now lots of clouds we've had a little bit of sunshine from time to time mainly cloudy in Newport with a temperature of 44 calm winds though so the feel like temperature not much of a factor 45 currently in Smithfield they've got quiet winds as well 42 in uh, Smithfield in the green in the northern uh, part of town 43 in Chapachet 50 in West mid 40s Taunton and New Bedford satellite radar picture showing the little batch of showers that was around earlier in the morning moving away generally just a few sprinkles fell lots of clouds in place might get a little bit of sun as I mentioned earlier this afternoon but we're watching this next front back in here this is going to work its way across southern New England tonight and bring with it another chance for rain and snow showers not a big deal but let's take a look at it hour by hour forecast looking at lots of clouds uh, through the afternoon some breaks of sun here we are at 2 o'clock in the morning, so after midnight and before dawn, looking at a period of rain and snow showers in our area, should be gone by dawn. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Still lots of clouds in place. Much like today, I think we're looking at lots of clouds for your Wednesday. Could be some breaks of sun, especially during the afternoon hours, though. And then the clouds return for tomorrow night, and uh, we are looking at a batch of uh, snow. Maybe some sleet and freezing rain and rain to arrive for Thursday morning. So the Thursday morning commute could be a messy one here in southern New England. Forecast for the rest of today, clouds, some sunshine, dry and cool with temperatures in the upper 40s. Could be a couple sprinkles, as I mentioned, in spots mainly at the south coast. For tonight, cloudy skies with some rain and snow showers late in the night. The evening looks dry, rain and snow showers possible after midnight, ending before dawn. Here's a very messy looking seven day forecast. So tomorrow again, we are looking at those uh, rain and snow showers ending before dawn. Gets cooler tomorrow with highs only around 40 degrees. That's pretty much uh, where it should be for the time of year. On Thursday, look at this mess. We're starting off with a morning mix, turning over to a lighter rain, drizzle and light rain for the evening commute on Thursday. But then we'll see some heavier rain arrive late Thursday night and into Friday morning. So Friday breaks down like this. Moderate to heavy rain ending very early, then some lighter showers, maybe some drizzle could end as some uh, flakes later in the day. Saturday right now looks OK. We'll be monitoring another potential uh, ocean storm zipping off to our south on Sunday. Could bring a mixture of rain and snow. That'll be a quick mover, though. Monday looks to be dry with temperatures in the mid 40s. Be sure to download the WPRI Pinpoint Weather 12 app. You can get live interactive radar and weather wherever you are, if you iPhone, iPad and Android devices, and it is free. So relatively quiet today. The end of the week, though, looks uh, kind of messy. I feel like it's been a while since we've had a seven day like this. The uh, past couple of weeks, just yeah. been nothing but sunshine during the work week, and the weekends were rough. This week, it's kind of messy all over the Jamming place. Jamming it all in at once. That's right. All right, TJ, thanks so much. Stay with us for stories coming up tonight starting new live at five as we continue waiting for those results from last night's Iowa caucus. We are hearing reaction from local Democratic and Republican lawmakers today. The new at 530 student loan debt now tops more than one point five trillion dollars. What experts say the key is to paying for these loans and do at six here from Congressman David Cicilline and his guest for tonight's State of the Union address. 